Uh, Joe, uh, Pete Massaro sat out last year with a knee problem. Uh, how is he doing uh, so far in practice? Have you uh, expect him to be in the rotation at defense of that? I missed what you said. Uh, Pete Massaro? Massaro?
And he's not a take charge guy. We're looking for a couple of guys that can go out there and, you know, and dominate some people. Uh, and he's not there yet. He's a big, strong kid. He's got a chance to be good. But right now, he's, he's probably a year away. Uh, but he works hard. He's a good kid. He's a bright kid. And I think eventually he's going to be pretty good. Coach, uh, during the summer when, when you were a little bit under the weather, uh, are you relying, where are you relying on your assistant coaches maybe more, and are you delegating more to them uh, at this stage of the game? I, I'm not sure whether uh, they would agree that I'm delegating. I wonder what. Staff meeting, and there's some things that, that uh, I don't particularly like that I see in the practice field, and I make it known and that I think we want to change this or we want to do this or something like that. But, uh, but on the field, I don't coach on the field as much as I used to. Uh, I, they're doing most of the coaching on the field. In the old days, I used to grab a couple of kids and shove them around a little bit. Uh, there's two things wrong with that these days. Number one, uh, you know, you, the first one and the most important one is I don't want to get like the guy at Texas Tech. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and the second thing is I, I, I prefer to, to wait until I get them in a meeting and say, hey, what, you know, I don't like what we're doing there, and I don't like the way you handle that kid, or do something like that. But I try to stick my two cents on it.